All right, uh, welcome back, uh, Naledi. Of course, uh, over and above the budget, uh, the finance minister will be tabling three money bills and the man who's going to be in charge of actually monitoring or paying oversight over those money bills is the chairperson of the Appropriations Committee, Mr. Sfiso Butelezi. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. Uh, the minister is going to be working under difficult uh, circumstances and conditions. Uh, as the Appropriations Committee, you're going to be paying oversight over these three money bills. Uh, what will you be looking looking out for um, good morning and good morning to to our, to, our, to our viewers as you know amongst the bills that the minister um, uh, will be a, a table in parliament it's uh, there will be a division of revenue bill which deals with the allocation of, of, of budget amongst the three spheres of government and then there will also be an appropriation bill which deals with the um, uh, the uh, the allocation of money amongst different departments and institutions so <clears throat> the the budget as, as it is coming it, that's what we'll be addressing but what are we looking for uh, i think it's uh, it's not rocket science because the minister in uh, in his uh, medium term budget has spoken about some of the things that he wants to to look at amongst those things i think what we want to see what is happening around electricity uh, security of of of, of electricity the minister and, and, and the president during SONA spoke about the intervention that we'll be making uh, at ESCOM. I think the principal one is the one where we are taking the debt as government from ESCOM books to the sovereign debt. The, the rationale behind that is to allow ESCOM, uh, one, to strengthen the balance sheet of, of, of ESCOM. Secondly, to allow ESCOM to focus on, on, on delivering electricity. The maintenance of, of, of uh, the, the, the power generation units, uh, the, the distribution, and so on, want them to focus on provision of of, elect, of, elect, of electricity. So, what is happening with that? Uh, <clears throat> the, the the president also spoke about many other things that we want to look at. Uh, how do we help households? How do we help households uh, to to get uh, um, solar panels? How do, we, how do we help businesses also to, so that we relieve the stress from, uh, from, from ESCOM and we have got more uh, uh, people generating power. So that's very important. But at the heart of all this, we are saying the intervention of government should be growth enhancing. Right. So looking at the, at the solar panels, we are saying we don't want to do a situation where these solar panels are going to be important because that's like exporting your jobs. We wanted to see industrialization taking place here. We wanted to see localization taking place here. We wanted to see black businesses, small businesses, township businesses, rural businesses benefiting from, from, from this. And Do you have insight in terms of who is going to benefit from the rollout of these solar panels? Yeah. Is it going to be everybody? Is it an affordable measure? I don't have I don't have an insight, but this is the expectation of the of the African National Congress. This is the expectation of co of, co of 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 caucus. This is the expectation of, of of our committee that the people who have been on the margins, the people who have not been benefiting from this economy, must also benefit because by bringing a lot of us, we can only come out of this thing if we all put, put shoulder to the wheel. So that's what we'll be insisting on that they, let this be manufactured here locally let this benefit this uh, category of people that I've, 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 I've spoken about let south africans benefit from this because what by so doing we are then able to grow the economy you know that everything that you import uh, contributes negatively to the economy if you import it's uh, in, 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 in in your gdp equation it's negative but if you export and manufacture here it, it contributes positively that will also help us to deal with another very uh, uh, pressing thing the question of unemployment especially among the young people because if we do that we are going to be able to have those positive multiplier effects those positive spin-offs where we have got young people having jobs being employed in these places but we also want them being involved in the manufacturing of of, of, of these things we've got a lot of engineers by the way in in, 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 the, in this country don't buy the story where people say we don't have engineers i had an opportunity to speak to some of them where they're saying that we hear you uh, guys saying uh, we are not there we are invisible we are there uh, make use of us would like a, a, a government to go out and make sure that those engineers are being uh, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, crowded in they also help 
with the uh, the production of these things. Now, the concern from the opposition parties is that perhaps maybe this kind of program will probably see a similar situation like the corruption that we saw under the PPE tenders. As the committee, you probably will have the oversight over the appropriations. How can the government be able to ensure that, one, it's not going to be the usual suspects who are going to be part and parcel of these tenders, and two, that there's no corruption? Look, um, you see, um, <clears throat> if, if we don't do things because we are afraid certain things will happen, we may end up not doing anything. Let me tell you, the biggest corruption, the biggest fraud which happened was during the 2010 World Cup, where big companies defrauded government. But we didn't say that after that we're not going to do anything as government. We continued. We must deal with that. People who are, who, who are found on the wrong side of the law must, 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 must one, let's start by making sure that we prevent that. The president spoke about the AG being involved with the process. We would, would like that happening. But again, we, 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 we don't want a situation where uh, our people are always seen as these corrupt people. They, they won't be uh, individuals, but they, we shouldn't uh, uh, paint with everybody with a, a, a brush of, of, of corruption. We can't stop doing things because we are saying, no, 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 if this happens. I, we, I think it's disingenuous for DA to say that. Why didn't they say when big companies during the 2010 World Cup were involved in defrauding the company, what they call collusion? It's nothing else just defrauding the people of South Africa at a big scale of a charging government and so on and so forth but we didn't stop there we said despite that well fortunately for them nobody was, was, was arrested they always pay their way out um, but I think we, we, sh we, sh we should make sure that in terms of risk management there are systems which are put in place to make sure that government is not defrauded as we are saying that during during COVID by the way there are a lot of people who provided who provided what they're supposed to provide uh, at, uh, without any corruption. It's also wrong to, to start saying that everything, as they would like to suggest, was, 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 was corrupt. The law enforcement agencies, as you know, SIU and other law enforcement agencies are busy dealing with that and they dealt with that. But that doesn't mean that we'll stop doing what we're supposed to do, that intervening to help the people of South Africa. So we'll continue doing that. Lastly, any idea how this state of national disaster is going to be funded, uh, if at all? Yeah. Well, uh, state of disaster is about the interventions which are going to be in, 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 the, in the budget, right? So we'll, 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 we'll look into, into that. Will, it will be in the budget. The, the financial needs will come out in the budget. But I think one thing I must, I must also say that as we make all this intervention, one big thing which I think we, the question of Umzim for good day, you heard the president spoke about that that it's one area that i want to hear the details of it that we it's now going we are busy with it why is that important it's because it's going to uh, to uh, to benefit the rural communities by and large and we want to see that happening again it's going to uh, uh, to help with terms of, of of agriculture we want to see exactly how that is, is going to happen uh, attached to that is the question is, is the question of um, <coughs> a agriculture around that, that, that place, which is very important for food, for, for food security. It's, it's, very, it's very important. The question of hemp, especially in the, in the Eastern Cape, let our people benefit from, from that. They understand how it works. We don't want to see uh, the uh, multinational companies coming in and then excluding our people who understand how that thing works. You know that uh, in these days, cannabis and hemp is very important. It's used for many, for many things, lotions, but more than anything else for health please let's make sure that our people are involved. Those are the areas that we as parliament will be looking at that who's benefiting from this and it's very important that we, we don't use those economies to further marginalize our people. All right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Sfiso Butelezi, uh, the chairperson of the Appropriations Committee. Wish him all the best uh, in his oversight role uh, when the finance minister uh, tables those three money bills. Uh, for now, it's back to you in studio.